hey guys <laughs> welcome back to the channel and today i want to talk about the new patch that hit world of tanks that would be patch 1.26 i believe it's 1.26 yeah 1.26 and we're going to be going over skills and whatnot and how it pertains to one of the least liked slash loved slash hated units of all artillery now as you guys know i do have tier 9 artillery almost tier 10 but i am not a dedicated artillery player now there are some people out there who are dedicated artillery players and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to explain why i love this patch and hate this patch at the same time now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my beloved gw panther now i'm sorry but the gw panther to me is the pinnacle of, of german artillery the, the tiger p and the and the tiger don't don't worry about those and and even the gw e100 don't worry about these just don't worry about them once you get to the tight get to the panther that's it just just play but don't really want to progress if you know what i mean the reason why i say that even though i do have as you can see a gw tiger is because this is the only artillery piece in the entire German tech tree that has a rotating turret. I will say that again. It is the only German artillery piece in the entire tech tree. Grilly? No. Hummel? No. Panther? Yes. Tiger P? No. GW Tiger? No. GW E100? No every other artillery piece in the german tech tree is a fixed cabin i.e if you want the gun to turn this way past its gun arc you have to move the whole tank okay you don't have to necessarily do that with a gw panther and you know where to go on the map and you stay within your gun arc and even if you don't go within your gun arc and your turret does rotate you're not as heavily penalized this is why i kept saying to a lot of people in several videos in the past and even in some of my live streams twitch.tv slash aces and eight i changed my twitch channel name mostly because i just felt like it anyway point is as you can see i don't even have field modifications it doesn't need them this tank does not need them now let me get back to the skills and and most importantly it comes down to now and 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 i i have to praise wargaming for this but at the same time i want to punch them in the throat it now comes down to just the gunners and the loaders driver doesn't mean anything commander doesn't mean anything okay let me explain as you can see here is my gunner ian Harmon. Okay, he's from one of the previous uh, um, battle passes. Now, I have purposely chosen skills that you think don't apply to artillery. Concentration, gun dispersion of a stationary vehicle will be decreased by 4.06. If it was a stationary cabin, i.e. a Yagi E100, GW E100 artillery piece, um, things of that nature, it, uh, even the American tank destroyers, the one that doesn't have the turret, the e, E3 of the E5, yeah, the E3, um, or even the Doom Turtle, concentration will not help you, okay? Snapshot will, technically. Quick aiming will, technically. So let me explain. When we look at their skills, and I'm going to reset his skills real quick, and you can do this for the patch for the first 30 days of the patch because of they're introducing you to new skills. Now, Oh, I, I always go brother in arms because it's a passive five, five. five. Now, dead eye now does affect with he. Let me say that again. Dead eye now works with high explosive. So your KV twos, your BZ one seventy sixes, things of that nature, they are even more deadly. I will say that again. They are even more deadly now. You, you you can now go back and just do HE only meta KV2s and have fun again. For you. 
not necessarily for the tanks that you one shot and i'll explain camouflage now don't worry about it you're going to get spotted anyway because i don't know what they've done with the with the mechanic but i was getting spotted by tanks that weren't even remotely close that i weren't even remotely close to their view range as if i didn't have any camouflage whatsoever and i was even behind buildings and i was still getting lit by a, a centurion 7-1 for crying out loud is what it is point is when it comes down to it repairs for artillery if you're gonna get hit you're f you're effed okay we've got such little hit points it's pointless but at the same time having low hit points is a good thing <laughs> yeah now hear me out the reason why i say that is because for a gunner of course brother in arms is one you're going to take straight away concentration when fully trained decreases the gun dispersion of a stationary vehicle by 3.5 percent 3.5 percent let's take a look at the dispersion right there only with brother in arms we're at 0. 0.6 with that 0. 0.58 now again there are so many skills that you could take right now that just make the artillery overall better i mean hell i could take uh, armorer that's enough another passive increase to to my dispersion snapshot there, there, there are so many good skills now for a gunner and if i had all six slots unlocked straight away brother in arms concentration snapshot dead eye and armor that's it that's all you need every other skill peh don't worry about it and i mean this now because dead eye now works with he artillery now will wreck you okay you've got to understand that artillery will wreck you they will hurt okay so the next skill i'm getting once i get it maxed out is probably going to be armor i'm not lying and i i have i have perk books i could just perk book this guy four to six skills but i'm not going to right yet because again i've got reasons as to why not now the reason why i say the next ones you need to look at is loaders because loaders get the actual damage perks now not the gunner now what i mean by that is yeah you can have intuition but if you're playing artillery why would you need it you're only usually going to take one type of ammunition anyway as artillery so intuition is not really necessarily needed nor is adrenaline rush again your hit points are so bloody tiny there's no point in taking adrenaline rush it's not going to work for you okay so if it was up to me again if my loaders were third tier of skill brother in arms and then the first thing you're going to take is perfect charge this means that your shells now fly faster which means you don't necessarily need a lot need to, to to lead a lot things of that nature then you can also go with ammo tuning this just means you're going to do damage now it does it literally means you're going to do damage so what i'm going to do is go ammo tuning and brother in arms with one loader now yes if you have two loaders with the same <clears throat> With this, I'm losing my voice. I do apologize. I recently had surgery and they put a thing down my throat and it's messed with my vocal cords. Now, because he has got the ammo tuning, he's going to get perfect charge. So my shells fly faster, hit harder, and are going to do damage. Now, this is why I said to you, there's only one skill the commander really needs right now. And it's this, communications expert. Crew efficiency bonus when is increased by 2.4 percent if the if the amount of damage you assist exceeds your vehicle's initial hit points. I'm artillery. If I hit two tanks and do more than 200 points of damage, which we've now calibrated to do, that skill is going to kick in instantly. 
Now I'm going to load faster, aim better, better dispersion. It's just going to snowball. Now, you know, I'm going to get rid. I want to get rid of co uh, a coordination. I, I kept it just to test, but it's no good. I'm probably just going to go flat out and go straight for mentor, even though I've already technically got it. Now, for my commander, I've gone with brother in arms, uh, mentor, concealment. Again, I'm artillery. So you know what? Let, let's reset this guy and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So we're going to reset him. Brother in arms. Mentor. Uh, so I've got two skills. I could go with recon and coordination. That way if a light tank tries to rush me. You know, yeah, we'll do that as an off chance in case artillery, in case a, a light tank tries to rush me, which I don't think they will. But this is what I'm talking about. This is the radio skill. Now, if we scroll down, my view range goes is barely 300. Like I said, artillery aren't going to spot anything by themselves anymore. OK, so, yes, it is possible for a light tank to sneak in and be a fox in the hen house. OK, but this is the skill that you need communications expert okay because the moment you exceed a specific amount of damage which you're going to do as an artillery piece your skills are just going to speed up now bear in mind there's nothing bond here there's no there's no uh, uh, um, bounty stuff there's no improved there's nothing i mean I, I do have a bounty equipment and i could you know put it there but there's no point. So I've just got a basic rammer, basic improved rotation mechanism, which, and a basic uh, um, uh, in, enhanced gun lane drive. Now, I could swap out the, the improved rotation mechanism. The reason why I haven't is because it does help with turret traverse and technically hold traverse if I want to snap a shot, which is... It's very rare that you're going to do. Now, also notice that small repair kits now fix everything the same as their bigger counterparts. So there's no point in using the bigger counterparts anymore. Now, I'm also going to swap out the fire extinguisher for chocolate. Again, just to get a little bit more overall. And I'm going to play a couple of games with artillery. This is my North American account. The EU servers are still being set up. So we're going to play a couple of games and we're going to see. I really am sorry about my voice, guys. And this is the um, stuff that my doctor wants me to drink to help me heal faster. It's got like enzymes and stuff to help balance out my stomach. Um, I had a, a cancerous mass removed from my, from my upper lower intestine. And um, yeah, through keyhole surgery. So this is why I'm not exactly super cheerful. <laughs> And so, and apparently my um, enzymes in my stomach are missing certain things, certain elements. And so he wants me to start drinking this and taking um, magnesium and a few other things. So there you go, a little health update for you. So, okay, here we go. Actually, not a bad map. Overlord, not a bad map. Okay, so we've got a Crusader SP and another GW Panther. Okay, okay. Now, let's see. I've got, oh yeah, I've, I've done all the the Eastern Bloc stuff. I've just sort of destroyed two enemy vehicles five times. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back off a little bit. There's a little area I like to go to <laughs> that that a lot of people, everyone's like, wait, an artillery piece is moving now. This is what I'm talking about. See. I have an actual rotating turret. It doesn't rotate all the way, but I have a rotating turret. Now you knock this tree down because you know for a fact the beginning RE he is always looking around for stuff that gets knocked over, things of that nature, yada yada yada. Now I'm pre prepping up. Now look at the gun arc on the map. And now I'm going to scan up.
Look at that. Now my other perks just kicked in. Okay, overshot. That's fine. Uh, and you know what? I'll go for this BK. Now, another thing you've got to pay attention to. No, I'm going to miss him. Ah, oh, I didn't even get a stun. Come on. Robbed. Daylight robbery. <laughs> it's what it is. But I've got concentration up now. Do you see? The concentration. See? Concentration perk. Concentration perk. It's always ticking off now. Why? Because that's how the new perk system works. And stunned him. Concentration, communications expert. Are you starting to understand how it works now? Boom. Done. Dealt with. All right. Let's go over here. I'm letting my team know. Concentration, concentration, concentration. Look. Look at that aiming circle now. Isn't that beautiful? And boom. That was close. That's true. That's true. That was close. Bop, bop. Now I'm going to target him. Just letting everyone know that I'm, I've got 12 seconds. Even my reload is getting faster. All right, so we got... Go for the Ryman toll. And boop. <laughs> now he's like, yeah, I'm not liking life. Ow, ow, bloody ow. Yeah, that Sherman's going nowhere. He He's literally going nowhere. So i got to move to get shots. All right. So we've already done almost 1,200 damage. And I've got 360 hit points. I doubled that in the first shot. So that my perks are just stacking. They're just stacking. Each perk is now just stacking. Artillery. What can I say? Artillery now is deadly. And I mean that. Artillery is something that you seriously need to start taking into consideration. And granted, a lot of people are getting used to the new skills and, and various other things. But that was not a bad game at all. There you go. 43 thou. I made 16k. Damage. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, six on the team for damage. One, two, three, four, five. Six on the team for EXP. And I'm artillery. We finally get... Artillery players finally get some love. Okay, now... A smaller, quicker, zippier artillery tank like Bert the Avenger, if you kit him up right with the right skills, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. I'm ooh. Like uh, quick aiming, concentration, dead eye, things of that nature. If you kit him out, he will be a monster. He'll just follow behind the heavies. Pop, 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 pop. He will be a monster. Artillery is finally a monster. So, let's go back and get into another quick game. All right. Emperor's Border. Now, Emperor's Border can be a, a pain in the ass to play for artillery because there's a lot of mountains and stuff, but you just got to figure out where to go. For me, I'm going to go here. And yes, I'm letting my team know where I'm going. I'm trying to be a, a good sport. Now, we actually got up tiered like crazy holy crap well, well sorry down tiered okay so we, we ooh, let's see high explosive 639 points of damage all right i've got nine rounds of of higher end ammo not that we need it but and if we lose that flank oh well here's what it is nothing we can do 
The reason why I'm coming this way is, well, clearly I've got I've got extra eyes and ears, but most importantly, the reason why I'm coming this way is, well, I need to get shots elsewhere, you know? And the only way to do that is to establish dominance on one side of the map, and that just happens to be over here, apparently. Okay, got a nice chaffe. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gun around, gun around. Three, two, one. Knock the building out. Knock the building out for me, please. Thank you, thank you. Bro, are you how blind are you? Right, so we've got a VK. Nice here. Nice here. So we've lost the light tank, we've, but there's a Hellcat up here. Nice. Getting spotting damage. Oh, you sneaky little bugger. She knew out in the open oil you would have been a good shot. But I'm just doing what I do best. Find targets of opportunity. If you're out in the open, I will I will hit you up. Okay, my concentration's triggered. What's that? I've got no shots on him no. Come on. Wow, people. Can I get a shot in this KV-1S? No. If he backs up one more time. He's trying to find an angle. Alright, so I've got to move now. Mostly to get a better angle on that. There, there they are. I was going to say they're coming that way. So, yep. Try and do my best. No, I've got no shot. No shot. I do have shots up here though. But no eyes. Oh, that was a good hit. Okay, so now our, our perks kicked off. As you can see, because we've, we've doubled our hit points. Chaffee. Okay, he's dead. Right, he's gone. Come, let's. So I've got to move. You always want to move. KV2. 10, 1,000. 1,000, 1,000, you want to take a shot at me? Yeah, of course he did. It's alright. Is that a Hellcat? Three, two, come on now. Okay. Stunned him. Gotta, gotta peg it. Yeah. Nashorn's trying to hold him, hold him off. Thank you. Oh, Nashorn, no. Ooh. That's all I could do. Now I've got to run. Nice. 
Nice. GG. Ooh, GG indeed. And that, that was basically what would be considered a snapshot on that KV-2. And so, like I said, artillery now is playable. You can have fun playing artillery. And I'm going to do some more extensive testing. Well, apparently I got an epic reward. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah. Like I said, we even do damage now. Do you see? We even do damage now. None, none of this tracks only, track this only, that only. There you go. Fourth on the team for damage done in an artillery piece. Come on, man. What what can I say? What, what Truthfully, what can I say other than th this is probably one of the best patches that I've seen come out of Wargaming? And yes, bear in mind, I, I am... A, a do I want to mm, do I want to burn one no not yet and I I'm not an avid artillery player okay I'm not I only play artillery to do the campaign quests I have the Stroke 3 I have the concept I'm in the process of getting the T uh, T um, 55a and like I said I've got all those quests done I've literally only got to do <laughs> like this one is um, cause 6k damage in, in a tank destroyer that's doable in something like a Yagi or, you know, uh, um, and things of that nature. It is doable. So it's not the quests are not doable anymore. The quests are very doable for artillery. So that's our second game. Let's play one more. And uh, let's see what we can do. Oh, hang on. Before we do that, I've got to change my, uh, my ammunition out, load out real quick. Um... Uh, like I said, as you can see, I'm using the cheapest ammo that there is. I could swap it out for the more expensive ammo. But this is one of the things that people don't take into account is the trajectory arc of your shell, i.e. the normalization is what Wargaming likes to call it. Tanks like the BZ-176, the KV-2, and artillery, the Lob HE shells, the shells do not fly in a straight line. They just don't. They don't fly in a straight line. They have a trajectory arc. Do you see? Like like a, a javelin or an arrow, if you will. Even arrows have a trajectory arc. Well, artillery, the trajectory arc is coming down at such an adverse angle, anywhere between 13 degrees all the way up to 37 degrees, maybe 38 even. That right there, that 38 degree, if I was to pick the uh, um, uh, AP round, would bounce there would be no penetration it would bounce it would do nothing this is why i keep saying to wargaming they need to do something about the ap ammo for artillery and again like i said i'm not a huge arty player i'm not in fact earlier my scorpion g lost all but 49 hit points to an artillery strike my own fault. I shouldn't have been. Should have been standing around with my freaking with, with, with my dick in my hand, you know. Now, I am going to probably pull back a little bit. Go into the dip here. No, can't do that. Um. Think, think, aces. Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? Um. Because I know they've got three light tanks. The Skoda T-17 is a light tank. It's an autoloader light tank. It's the newest one that just got added. And that fact that one of their light tanks also has an artillery and a squad. So I'm going to I'm gonna stick around about here. Of course, our T-34 has droopy barrel syndrome. There is creams for that, my friend. Right, so my concentration is up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep an eye over here. Maybe even over here to see if any buildings fall. Okay, there's a Skoda.
Excellent hit, excellent hit. No. Oh, we got a stun though. We did get a stun. I guess that's our way of telling him. Yeah, see, the T R T thirty four's got droopy barrel syndrome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is creams for that, my little dude. Right, so I got shots on this VK. If he stays where he's at, you're gonna stay where you're at. Let's see. Alright, here we go. Oh, you poor TD. Is that K2? Yeah, I'm not going to hurt him. Okay, that's a freak. Okay, so that's one. Yeah. No, see, he knows what he's doing. That VK does know what he's doing. He's not. Oof. Ah. Right, so we're, we're doing a delay tactic here. No, no. Letting them know. My three and a half seconds. All right. If you can light him for. He's on fire. Oh, he's dead. All right. Three, two, one. There we go. Oh, he would have been a better target. Yeah. I was going to say, Ramato would definitely have been a better target. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Welcome to eternity, baby. Let's toss this acorn. Oh, come on. Oh, even another better target. Ah! <laughs> Such a target-rich environment. The Revelry says the more dangerous tank, to be honest with you. Okay, three. Yeah, he's got the advanced um, arty thing. All right. Let's try and get something. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Alright. Nothing I can do. Our T-34 is too late to the party. There's a Borask is probably right up my behind. Alright, we've got a shell on the breach. Let's see what we've got. Come on, baby. Three, two. Hmm. Of course, like that, yeah, T-34 is a bot. Yeah, you're a bot, mate. Sorry. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, just tickled him. It's over. Oh, well, two wins and a loss. I ain't gonna go out like a little bitch though. Yeah, I'm lit. There it is. Of course, it would be the brass. Yep. It's always a Barask. <laughs> and I mean it. It's always a bloody Barask. <laughs> always a bloody Barask. Always a Barask. So, guys, long story short, I 
think the new skills are pretty good. Um, they basically make certain tanks that were not even remotely close to being useful actually useful again. And what can I say? It's... It is a breath of fresh air, but, and I cannot stress this enough, I personally feel it's a little bit too late. And what I mean by that is this should have been implemented years ago. Two years ago, at least. When they first started talking about doing crew rebalancing and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, you know what? I'm going to be nice. Let's grab my KV-2. Uh, where are you, you little bugger? Oh, there it is. Um, and so, let's reskill the crew for my KV-2. So, we're going to go here commander because he's just a straight up commander um, do I really need to change any of his skills currently no gunner absolutely I'm going to reset the gunner so we're going to go with brother in arms concentration dead eye armorer in that order. Not all of your crew need to have repairs. Yeah, we're going to reset the driver. Again, so we're going to go brother in arms. Repairs. Controlled impact, clutch braking. Uh, radio operator. We're going to reset your, you. In fact, I'm actually going to burn a book. Yeah, we'll burn a book. Because I need to re reset you. The loaders anyway. So, loader one... Definitely brother in arms, then definitely ammo tune in, then perfect charge, then repairs. Loader two, we're going to reset you. Brother in arms. Or a KV2, so it's not like we're going to be, um, actually. Yeah, so we'll go with, don't need perfect charge, we'll go with ammo tuning, close combat, because you're a KV2, you're going to want to try and get as close to the enemy as you can. Actually, you know what, no, 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 no. Um, safe storage is always a must. I hate to say it, but it is. Safe storage is always a must. Okay, now our radio guy. We're gonna we're gonna fix him. We're gonna go with this, 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 and then side by side wouldn't be a bad thing. It wouldn't. But I'm gonna go with repairs. And so, yeah, that's our new KV-2 look. Uh, I do want to swap out some of my modules real quick. KV-2s aren't known for their... They're not known for their um, view range. As you can see, even with everything else, 415 view range, you think, okay, that's cool, that's great, that's not bad for tier 6, and it isn't for tier 6, it's not bad. But, 
What's my current aim time real quick? Uh, three and a half seconds. It's way too long. We need to get that down. Those are rookie numbers. But 0.53 dispersion now. Better than, than, than where it was at. You know what? No. I'm going to leave this where it's at. So we're going to get into a game and you'll... Actually, do I have to... I'm just going to double check the ammo. I forgot to double check the ammo. Yeah, that's fine. And so what we're going to do is we're going to play. I don't have a BZ-176. Um, I, I just don't have one. I didn't get one in the loot boxes. Um, I, I genuinely loathe those tanks. Um, they're just a high tier KV-2. That's all they are. They're a Chinese high tier KV-2. That's it. Uh, the only difference is, is it actually has a decent feckin' turret that uh, you have to let them wait for them to aim down so you know they've got a shell ready to go you got to wait for them to aim down so you can shoot the middle of the tur turret when it pops up because that's the weak spot in the turret is when it pops up because it has like the gun loading mechanism so it comes down to shoot so you're going to get hit anyway you're going to lose hit points anyway because that's just the nature of the beast so i am gonna go i would love to go middle I would. You know what? No. I'm going to go... Got a Tiger 1 with me. Got a very highly decorated T-43, you poor thing. Um... Let's see. They do have a GW Panther who knows what he's doing at 25 rank. He's a higher rank GWP than I am. So, you know. Okay, Skoda T-17s. Again. Oh, I should have gone middle. I could have one-shotted him. Wait, can I one-shot? That's the thing. Uh, average damage is 910 hit points. So, yes, I could have, in fact, one-shotted him. Interesting. Hello, Yag Panther, with a... Oh, my God, you've got the stock gun, you poor thing, you. <gasps> oh, 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 Fräulein. Oh, not good. Gordon Tolton, do Ford and Dida. All right, so I'm going to go this way. We've got a Tiger 1 and a T-43. Okay, so there's the crocodile. Now, he's going to be a pain in the ass, so I'm going to have to shoot him in his turret and then back the hell off quicker the, okay challenger all right i can take him i could technically in theory one oh no 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 that would be bad yeah this this, this will be bad hello goodbye <laughs> well he had fun <coughs> well, he had fun. <laughs> he had fun indeed, didn't he? Yeah, I've got to get improved hardening. Um, okay, crocodiles. Yeah, he's not my problem. The problem is the KV2. Yeah, he's lit me and I've lit him. So he knows I'm here. Is he leap? <gasps> he's trying to set up a crossfire. No, 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 no. Don't fall for it, don't fall for it, don't fall for it, don't fall for it, don't fall. Take a one, take a one, take a one. No, 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 no. Schweinhood. Gegnerfett, Mephasa, Gals gescheitert. Erwischt. Okay. Tiggy One's gonna come around the corner and get fucking shotgunned in the face. Fuck it, send it. Ooh, that, that, that hurt. Ooh, 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 that really hurt. Oh, that hurt me, and I'm the one that shot him. Ooh. But you, you start to understand now, this patch has made some older tanks that have been overlooked actually 
amazing. Um, oh my god, the Hawker 30 with its HE shell. <gasps> oh, I gotta try, I gotta test that out. I've gotta test that out. Sorry, comrade. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, no Voiron. No luck for you. I was gonna say, yeah, the. Yeah, he's all. Oh, come on, but. But the Avenger. Eh, 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 eh. But the ye. Oh, I'm. Oh, yeah. Pff, I, I didn't even get. <laughs> didn't even in the land in the same century as when I shot that. But it was worth the shot. It was worth trying. It's a HE shell. It's worth firing it. I'd rather. I'd rather fire the shell. And. 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 Throw caution to the wind. Then, you know. They say, you know, the best shots you take are the, are the ones you. The best shots. You, you, you make other shots you don't expect to hit, so you know. So we're just going to drive, waste a bit of petrol, or in this case diesel, because it's KV. Did did a KV come out in a petrol form? I don't. No, no, it was diesel. KVs were only diesel. I, yeah, they were only diesel. I, yeah, GG. Excuse me. Ooh, got to drink some more of this. So, what can I say? The new skills, if you know how to stack them and use them correctly, dear God, cherry, cherry, fourth on the team by damage done. Like freaking, was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh on the team by 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 experience earned. Like I said. You you can do it, guys. If you just figure out and take your time, and it's another thing, take your time. This is my North American account. It's my oldest account, hence that's why I've got a ton of tier tens. You know, I mean, Yagi E one hundred. You know, I've I've my Amer where's my Americans? I've got a ton ton of freaking. You know, uh, that's a good point. Where E seventy five? Where is my Americans? Hello. Oh, these are just heavies. Duh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, if I do this, yeah, there you go. There's my my American heavy. You know, there's another American. There's there's a German. You know, you. you there you go. The Hawker Thirty. Now this guy. He's the one I'm gonna have to take a look at. Definitely, definitely. And that one, and of course our main commander's skill. Um, there we go. But it's our gunner and our loaders that we need to look at. We've only got the one loader, so I'm going to reset him. Yep. Uh, no, 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 no. Yep, yep. She no, don't need that. Um, yep, yep, in that order. And our gunner. Let's reset him. Yes. I'm not worried about the gun dispersion, that's what I wanted. Um, concealment. That one. There we go. And let's see, because I'm kitting out my my... Hawker 30 to, to be a light tank hunter killer. Now I could swap over you for you. 
does lower my view range but it does increase my concealment bonus so I can spot the light tanks to kill them now with the new um, dead eye as you can see chance to critically da damaging enemy vehicle modules and injuring enemy crew members with all shell types all shell types including high explosive well the Hawker 30 gets a very unique shell type as in take a look at that penetration it gets over a hundred millimeters of penetration with a HG shot that just blows my mind so I'm gonna start a load off like this and I do believe I've got all the yeah I've got it all researched so this is going to be nothing but convertible exp yeah i've got tons of convertible exp right this second yeah I, like i said i've got over 121,000 convertible exp <laughs> if i really want to knock out a tank or whatever that's fine by me i don't do that though i enjoy and play and have fun i enjoy the lines I don't sit, I get it people want to be the first to say I'm the first to get this tier 10 or whatever but there are so many players out there um, quickie baby circumflexus uh, uh, skills uh, um, ducky myself um, we've got so much resources I don't on this account as you can tell but we've got so much resources and other accounts that we can just Plus, they get or even max, but then again, they get access to press accounts. I don't. This is my personal account. I do not. I do not have a press account, and I do not get access to a press account. So, what you're seeing here in this video, and this video has been going on for a while now, so I'm going to do a roundup. So, long story short, guys, the new skills are baller. They're amazing. If you are a medium tank that enjoys brawling. There's a skills there's, there's a set of skills for you. So if you're in like an e, e, E50M or an E50, great. If you like to snipe like in in a a, a, a leopard or a Kunitzpanzer or things of that nature, or even the the Mutz, the 58 Mutz, you got skill sets for that as well. Artillery, artillery are now useful. Thank you, Wargaming. Artillery are just not a wasted slot on a team now. They can actually sway a battle, as you saw in the previous games in the GW Panther. We have a chance to impact the fight. That's all we asked. We just asked for a fighting chance. And you've given it to artillery. And that means players now truly have to start fearing artillery again. And that is amazing. Thank you, Wargaming. Just tone back the auto loaders, please. I'm not the only one who's sick and tired of auto loaders ruining it for everyone. Because that's exactly what they do. They ruin it for everyone. In a world of blunderbusses, he who has a freaking Gatling gun is going to win. It doesn't matter how many hit points you give them, or how much armor you give them, or, or, or remove from them. It doesn't matter, especially if you're an ELC that has impenetrable Starlitanium wheels that even a freaking FE-4405, the biggest gun in your game, cannot penetrate. That takes up 90% of the tank's body, and it's so small as is. Nah, that's... You broke the game when you added those pieces of shit, and you fucking know it too, Wargaming. So tone back the auto loaders, tone back the special me loading mechanics, and no, uh, look, listen, Deirdre, Linda, whatever your name is, if you truly, and I do mean this, if you truly want to make eat, make amends to the player base, give us back the Waffen Traeger. I will take a Waffen Traeger any day of the week, and you can add whatever fucking auto loaders you want. Hell, give us a single shot Waffen Traeger. I will take a single shot Waffentrager. And I mean that. I will take a single shot Waffentrager E100 over the Grilly. The Grilly is an absolute fucking joke. Okay? Th th this thing is a joke. 
the most accurate gun in the game. My fucking ass. You can eat my fucking ass. There is no way that that is the most accurate fucking gun in the game. Eat my ass. And I mean it. Chow down. <laughs> Full on tongue punch my fart box. There is no way that you can tell me that that tank is on par to what the Waffentrager E100 was. Get. And I cannot stress this enough. As my boy. <laughs> as, as my boy Matches Malone likes to say. Get out of here with that shit. Seriously. Get out of here with that crap. I'm sorry, this is why I won't go past certain tanks in, in the tech tree, because it's just not worth it, case in point. I, I'm, I, I have a GW Tiger. Once I've unlocked the GW E100, that's it. I'm done, but I'm not playing. I, I very rarely play my GW Tiger. I very rarely play it. I prefer to play my GW Panther. A tier 7. Tier 7. I'd rather play my tier 7. Because the rest of the tanks are junk, same as the light tanks. I'm sorry, but... The German light tank line is is abysmal. It is abysmal. You know it's bad when premium tanks like the Hawker 30, the 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 uh, German Walker Bulldog, in my opinion, are better than the Hawker 30 and the RU251. And the RU251 is the Hawker 30. Only it's tier nine. Make make it make sense. And there's no point because you're just going to get outgunned with the auto loaders. They're just going to look at you and go, Burp, you're dead. Bye. See ya. Go back to the garage. Salut. Goodbye. So, there's no point in going past uh, the Roman Tobor Sick Waffentrager. Really isn't because the, the Panzer IV, Waffentrager Alf's Panzer IV, absolute joke. Gritty 15 is an insult to the German tank destroyer line. Sorry, but it is. Um, I'm I'm currently trying to grind out to get to the Panzer Kimpfwagen Ischweiden Cider. This tank, I call it the Cider, um, because I'm I refuse to get the mouse. The mouse is just a, a an XP pinata. I'm sorry, but it is. It's just an XP pinata, and you know it is war gaming. This is why you will not give the mouse or any of the German super heavies any love. You just won't. Because you're too busy adding more and more fucking... Look, seriously. Take a look at this shit. Tell me that there is no Soviet bias. How many fucking tier 10s do you have? How many fucking tier 9s and 10s do you need? Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Hell, take a look at that. Take a look at this. You haven't even filled out the light tanks for the, for the Japanese yet. Chinese, yeah, lights. Two two lines of light tanks. Mediums, heavies, super heavies, and tank destroyers. Polish, again, you've got all that started and sorted. Swedish, great. Italians, even. So, why can you not go back to the original OG tech trees? America, Germany, you know, Russia... And say, I think, yeah, looking on par, we've overdone it on the Russian side. Because you fucking have. Let's get back to, to... Let's get back to the game's fun roots. Okay? Anyway, guys. Patch 1.26. New skills. Great. Not played any of the new maps yet because for some reason the new maps are just not in the rotation. I don't know why. Thank you, Wargaming. Nice one. Um, and yeah. What can I say, guys, other than the 1.26 patch is amazing. I can't wait for Aslan's to update his mod pack so I can get back to my old garage because I don't like this shite. It's too, too much going on. It's making my OCD go fucking nuts. And so, anyway, guys, 1.26. Good, bad, ugly. Ugly. The good part of the patch is finally artillery and HE are viable. Again. 
the bad. HE is viable again. So super heavies who are slow, who have a lot of hit points, are just going to get farmed. The bad. Well, the spotting mechanics have changed. That's for sure. I don't know why. I don't know how. But the fact that a Chieftain 7-1 was spotting me on the opposite side of the map through buildings. It means tanks that rely on camouflage like the Hawker 30, uh, uh, like the Scorpion G, uh, any basically paper thin tank destroyer, even the Hellcat, even Hellcats, and any tank destroyer that does not have. Uh, so Yagi E100s are going to laugh, especially if someone like, if a Cent 71, Centurion 71 shoots at me, yeah, in my Yagi E100, I'm just going to laugh because he can't fucking pen me. I'm just going to sit there and go, <laughs> my turn. And watch him shit his pants and just <laughs> scarper. But tank destroyers up until that point that have maybe a one trick to their pony. They're not going to like this. They're not going to like it. The map redesigns, I haven't seen any of them yet. As you saw in this video, I've been playing, recording this video now for an hour plus. There's going to be a, f a few small slight edits to help, help, help up with time. But the point is, guys, the patch overall, I would say it's a good 60 to 70% thumbs up from me. Now, bear in mind, this is just a first impressions. I didn't look, didn't look it on the test server. I'm, I'm, I will be playing the game a little bit more and I'll even be live streaming it for as long as I can hold up for. Because again, like I said, guys, I'm, I'm, I have to take pain meds and whatnot for my, my after, for my after surgery stuff. But like I said, <clears throat> I will do my best to go live today on the EU server and, and, and do an apples to orange comparison. Now, bear in mind, my crews on the EU server are nowhere near as 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 powerful as my crews here. I mean, I don't have any of the Space Marines on the EU server. I don't have uh, uh, um, certain tanks on the EU server. Like, I don't have a VK-75. Um, I just recently got the Malum Breaker, not the VK-168. Uh, I recently just got the other version of it. Um... I don't have a Lerva, I don't have a Scrup Stryer, I don't have the Yagi 188, I just recently got a Scorp G, uh, things of that nature. So there are some tanks I, uh, I, I do have and I don't have. Uh, so who knows? But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a like. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, why don't you follow me over on Twitch? It's twitch.tv aces and eights. Link will be in the video in the video little description boxy thing underneath and bleep bloop me a comment um as to what tank you think you want me to take a look at uh crew wise what skills would work with it things of that nature i'm here to help i'm here to educate former tank driver british army so like i said i have some real world combat experience was in afghanistan and a few other places anyway guys till then keep your shows flying keep your enemies dying your cover commander is out and i'll see you guys in the next video my friends ciao